To be or not to be, that is not the question. The question is to read or not to read. And to thee I say nay, turn not these pages. Welcome to Whiskey and Literature. I'm your host, Captain Mike, and I'm reading and reviewing 52 books in 52 weeks in 2023, including the 50 greatest books of all time. This is my 43rd book review of the year so far, Hamlet by William Shakespeare. And if you're here for whiskey, not for books, the channel is called Whiskey and Literature, so I will be reviewing more whiskey coming up, but today it's all about the books. And before we talk about Hamlet, let's talk about William Shakespeare. He was an English playwright, poet, and actor. Born in 1564, died in 1616, and that's all we're gonna say about William and on to the specs and stats of Hamlet. Hamlet was written somewhere between 1599 and 1601. I bought my copy of the book on Amazon, and it's full of, it has the text, and it has annotations, it has notes, it has summaries, it has an essay, and I didn't read any of that. I did listen to part of this on Audible as well. It's also the same edition, and it is a fast listen or read, and it's painful. Briefly about the style of the book, it's a tragedy, which means that people tragically died, and it's written as a play and play on words it does to great effect. I usually in my reviews talk about some of the main characters and the plot of the book, and I'm not gonna talk about either one of those on Hamlet. I'm just gonna get right on to my thoughts, and here they are. I'll be as blunt as possible with some apologies to those literary heads who really just gush over Shakespeare. I did not enjoy this read at all. I have never in my life read any Shakespeare. I don't think. Possibly bits and pieces in high school, but who knows, that was a long time ago. I have so far this year read 44 books. Some of those are the greatest classics of all time. And some of those books I just didn't really enjoy. I didn't enjoy either one of the Faulkners, Midnight's Children, The Magic Mountain, Kafka, but I will be honest with you, the book I have enjoyed the least of the entire year so far is Hamlet by William Shakespeare. Perhaps had this story been in novel format, I could get behind it. It's definitely the style of the book that ruins the story for me. Okay, did I like anything in the book? And the answer is yes. I recently did a review of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland with my son. I was referring to how that book has influenced our modern culture and media. And specifically, we were talking, I mentioned The Matrix and how in one of the opening scenes there, Neo is told to follow the White Rabbit. Now, my son has read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. He has seen The Matrix. But until that moment during the review, when I mentioned that, and I could see the light bulb click on his head, he really realized how this book has influenced some of our culture. And Hamlet, even more so. I did enjoy the play on words, the double entendres, the blatant raunchiness. That part of the book was very clever and enjoyable. So I'm gonna read some of my favorite phrases from the book, and I guarantee that you have either heard or used some of these in your daily life yourself. All right, let's go through these. I'm gonna look at my notes here. To thine own self be true. I use that in one of, one of my early reviews this year. And most of these I didn't know came from Shakespeare or Hamlet. And I do really enjoy that turn of phrase. Okay. Though this be madness, yet there is method in it. One of my favorite whiskeys is an Irish whiskey and it's called Method and Madness. Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. Brevity is the soul of wit. I do like that phrase. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. I literally just laughed out loud when I read this and Mrs. Captain was like, what's so funny? I'm like, there's something in the rotten in the state of Denmark. And to me that was hilarious and she didn't seem to get it. And that's not a phrase that I don't think I've ever heard or used, possibly, 
but I did really enjoy that. Okay, uh, let's see. The cat will mew and the dog will have his day. I like it. It smells to heaven. Okay. God has given you one face and you make yourself another. So there were some phrases in here like that one that give you pause. You can think about it. There's a lot to unpack there. And I did, I did appreciate that. The lady protests too much, methinks. We've all heard that one. We know what we are, but know not what we may be. This is true, and I love it. Again, there's a lot to unpack in there if you really just kind of think and ponder on it. And honestly, these phrases and the play on words, these things were the best part of the book to me. The rest of it, the plot and the characters and all that, to be honest with you, I just don't give a hoot about. And that's it. This is going to be a really short review. And now we're going to go to the star rating. And I judge all my books on five criteria, six if I listen to them on Audible. Here we go. Initial response. How do I feel as soon as I finish the book? It got a two. Recommendation. How likely am I to recommend this book? One. Style. Did I enjoy the writing style? And I gave it a two initially, but I bumped that up to a three as I was thinking about it because I did enjoy those uh, phrases and, and, and how this has influenced our culture. Okay. Uh, four, plot structure. How engaged was I in the story? One, characters. Were they relatable, believable, engaging? They got it two. And six, audible. For those stories that I listened to on audible, at least part of it, how was the production? And I also gave it a two. Those parts that I listened to, I just, man, I, I just could not get into it. Okay, that's 11. And 11 divided by six is 1.83. So 1.83 stars for Hamlet by William Shakespeare. I have eight books left to go through the end of the year. It's the first week in November right now. And this so far has been my lowest rated book of the year. And I hope that I don't find any book later in this year any lower rated than this one. And my apology, apologies again to you if you're a Hamlet, a Shakespeare fan. It's like whiskey. It's one of the greatest things that I've discovered this year, reading all these different books, ones that I didn't enjoy, ones that I really enjoyed. I've discovered a whole lot of new authors and, and some of them I'm just not gonna to return to. And William Shakespeare is one of those. Like whiskey, some of those you like, some of those you don't like. It doesn't mean that whiskey's not a great whiskey. It means you don't like it. Maybe if I had more time to study Hamlet, and Shakespeare, I would like it better. I don't have this year any time to read the notes and the annotations and the summaries and the essays about these books. I just read them and then tell you what I think about them. And this just did not do it for me. All right, my guys, if you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to see more of my content. I do both book and whiskey reviews. Again, this year, 52 books in 52 weeks. And those reviews that I've done so far are in the description below. And right now, you know what to do. I hope you're reading something good and drinking something great. Turn the pages, my friends, and stay thirsty. Cheers.